happy Friday the 13th, May 13, 2022. It's Friday, so it's happy hour Friday. Every Friday, 4 p.m. Central Time, on Litecoin Lisa's channel on YouTube, which may be banned right now, I don't know. But also on this channel, you will see a live happy hour. What's a live happy hour? Well, it's just what you think. From 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock, and sometimes later, Central Time, every Friday, we have some drinks. We're live. I'm in my bar. And we're talking about crypto, we're talking about freedom, we're talking about all the uh, vampires that are running things and how we can possibly not feed them anymore. Gotta watch what I'm doing here, I'm driving. A little wind, wind swept my hair because you know I'm in the original digi bug that has no air conditioning. It's been very hot here in the Midwest. And so I uh, have to roll the windows down and I'm gonna wait until this car turns so I don't get in an accident almost saw an accident earlier but no speaking of accidents the crypto market what just happened in the crypto market Polly P I don't know if this truck's gonna make it my buddy Polly P on the road shout out to you brother happy Friday get you some Litecoin while it's on sale brother find an ATM so that's what I want to talk about I want to talk about the crypto market and what just happened we had this fiasco, this UST, which is supposed to be a stable coin, pegged to the dollar, ends up going to 30 cents, I don't know what it was, but then it was, it had an inverse relationship to Terra Luna, Luna, Lunatic coin, that basically has gone to zero now, I think, like fraction of a penny, it was $100 a few days ago, I mean, and I looked at it at one point thinking, eh, you know, maybe this is something that might work and, you know, but I never did get into it. I just, it's almost not worth it because I think you could stake it and get 20%, you know, so it's going up in price, dollar price. And then it's also, you know, you can stake it and get 20%. The thing is though, what what is the underlying value of it? See, that's the thing with cryptocurrency. I, I lived through 2017 I mean, like a lot of us did, and you saw these ICOs, you know, these ideas, these quote companies that came out and said, hey, we're going to do this. We're going to be able to spend money on this credit card. We're going to be able to uh, buy property with crypto. And, you know, Proppy's still around. That's one of them. But, I mean, there's other ones, you know, food coin. I mean, you know, just because it was Centra, that was gone. I mean, there's other ones. I, I can't even. I've got things that have gone to zero from this ICO craze. And you'd buy in with Ethereum to get all these tokens that are on the Ethereum platform. Well, the people who started the token, which is basically code, there's nothing backing it, is one day it's like, hey, it's an initial coin offering. So today it exists. There's a billion of them, you know, invest. And so you pay with the Ethereum. And they would take the Ethereum, the people that started the project, cash it out so that they got money to operate and then basically burn through the cash and then there's nothing left in the company. And there are still some around. Populous is one, I, I just don't know. A lot of people are calling that a scam. But I mean, that was in Cliff High's data and Sharon Michelle too, as far as that was going to be, you know, some big coin, you know, that, that did all kinds of stuff. It was supposed to be invoice factoring, you know, and anyway, look into that. but. I looked the other day, it was like six cents yesterday. And the ICO price, when it first came out in 2017, I think it was 40 cents a coin. And you couldn't get it here in the United States. You had to get it in like your United Kingdom. Somebody had to buy it for you and then transfer it. And it's an Ethereum based token. And what happened was it's six cents yesterday. When I bought it at 40 cents in 2017, if you bought it, it went as high as 60 or 70 bucks in 2017. I mean, imagine this and now it's back down to six cents I don't know, it's like 10 cents today but I mean it's one of those coins where I'm like are you kidding me if that thing did anything it would because the supply is not that high it's like 32 million I think or 35 million and I just think I don't know if they would just do something but they've had five plus years to do something and I don't know that they are so it may be just a dead coin there's a lot of them that died and that's what you saw yesterday and the day before, US, UST, supposedly tied to the US dollar. Well, if it's gonna be tied to the US dollar, you probably have to do, which is crazy anyway, they call that a stable coin. 
the US dollar is stable? Have you seen inflation? It's not stable. As they print more of it, it's very unstable. And they have to paper it over. They create more and more to pay for the bills. Anyway, so that crypto went to zero. So you lost everything if you had your money in it. That's why I preach Litecoin, 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 sound money for the digital age. It will not go to zero. Yeah, you look at the dollar price and you say, oh my God, it went down to $60. Well, you should have been buying it. Now it's $70. Then it's gonna be $100. Then it's gonna be 500. Then it's gonna be 1,000. Then it's gonna be more. Because the fundamentals support it. People are gonna look at these things and say hi to Franny. Hi to Franny. <coughs> Excuse me. Gesundheit, which just means health in German. It's not Gesundheit, it's Gesundheit. Bless you, I'll say that too. I think, you know, the whole thing with bless you is uh, people thought your spirit left your body, I think, the old legend. And by saying bless you, it was a, where's my neighbor Mitch? By saying bless you, your spirit would be like, come back into your body. Because spirit, you know, and breath, Aspire, you know, kind of comes from the same root word. So people thought, you know, your spirit and the air, breath, that kind of thing. That's why they say bless you, I think. Or Gesundheit, which just means health. Good health to you because you're sneezing. Um, so yeah, be careful what you put your money into. I mean, seriously, if you are going to store up your wealth and put it in crypto, which I think crypto is going to be around for a long time. He's gonna have to wait. I can't, I just can't. I got problems at work, you know, servers and crap that I'm trying to fix. And here I am making a video with a dog and talking crypto. See, that's because we wanna get out of this mess, right? We don't wanna deal with it anymore. And Mitch is gonna come over here and try and talk to me. And I can't, I'm making a freaking video, Mitch. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you want to lock up your things in, in real valuable things and not... What's up? I'm just wondering if I'm going up to Sam's. Do you need anything? Sam's? Uh... I don't think so. No? I'll probably make a trip to Costco at some point. You sure there's nothing you can pick up? No. Okay. Maybe, like, uh... Clean them out of whiskey. Right? No. <laughs> I really can't think of anything I need. I'll text you if I do. Okay. I don't think I do, though. All right. All right. Be careful. I'll see you. Thanks. So, stock up on the whiskey. You might need uh, things of value. This is this is my neighbor. See this guy? Let's see his license plate. says Mitch. <laughs> that's uh, that's Mitch, Cust Carpentry. Follow him on Twitter. He's got a... Uh, He's got his own YouTube channel, and it's um, Mitch's Magical Monday. No, Mitch's Motivational Monday, I think, is what it is. And he gives, you know, he goes out and does some things and talks about how um, you know, how to be motivated on a Monday because it's hard to be motivated on a Monday. So go check it out. I mean, on my website, ClintWestwood.net. Don't talk about it enough. ClintWestwood.net. That's where I've got all my links to, you know, different community members. Um, you know, you can click on their, you know, their, uh, their YouTube site. Can't even talk today. Dog. Hi, baby. Crazy. So yeah, go to clintwestwood.net. All right. Back again to the, uh, the crypto thing. I mean, these cryptos will go to zero. There are cryptos that will go to zero and they have gone to zero. And the thing is, you've got to realize I'm, I can 100% believe in crypto. It's just I don't 100% believe in all of crypto. That's why I only talk about a few of them. I'll talk about Bitcoin, but I mean, to me, it's way overvalued compared to Litecoin. Litecoin is just a superior form of digital money. And there's just a few more of them than Bitcoin, four times as many. But as far as the technology that is built into Litecoin, low transaction fees, faster blockchain times, four times as many, and the price is not for a fourth of the price of Bitcoin. I mean, you're looking at Bitcoin at like $30,000 and Litecoin's not even $100. Absolutely ridiculous. And then Litecoin has confidential transactions with act, which activate on the network and are ready to go May 19th. Bitcoin can't do that. You know, they have that privacy level. 
So it's to me, it's a no-brainer, and that's why I talk about it. You know, and I talk about Digibyte too. I don't talk about Dogecoin a whole lot. I mean, it's got an unlimited supply, but I mean, again, it's it's merge mined with Litecoin, so it's a mined coin. You can't just create it out of nothing. It takes work. It's better than UST and Luna. I mean, really, when you think about it, I just think Doge is way overvalued compared to something like uh, Digibyte. So, you know, I'd rather buy Digibyte than Doge because it's 21 billion Digibyte and like 121 billion Doge right now, and that's unlimited. So, I don't know. To me, it doesn't doesn't make as much sense when Digibyte's just as, as sound money as, as Doge is. And I mean, you can make the argument, no, it's not, and the network's more secure because it's, you know, merge mined with Litecoin, whatever. It doesn't matter. They all work. I would rather use them for payments over Bitcoin any day because Bitcoin is slow and it gets the blocks get filled up and it takes a while and you wait a half a day or more to get into the block or you pay a lot more money in transaction fees. So anyway, I'm getting into a lot of stuff, but in my estimation, for me, Litecoin is the most undervalued digital asset out there. It is the soundest form of digital currency, digital money out there. It is useful. It works. It's got a network that's never gone down in over 10 years, 10 and a half years. It's going to be 11 years soon in October. It just works. And it's way undervalued. And there's a finite supply. There's only enough for, um, if you distributed it equally around the world to 8 billion people, you've only got about 0 0.01 Litecoin each. And right now you can get one Litecoin for 70 bucks. Where can you get it? Well, you can go to Coinbase. The problem with buying at Coinbase, though, is you have to have your account all set up. And I went through this earlier this week because I wanted to pick up a few more Litecoin. Well, you need to re-verify your ID. Already done that. Oh, now you need to re-verify your bank accounts. See, it was like they were, and they did this in 2017. They make you jump through a bunch of hoodles. Hoodles? I'm thinking poodles. Hurdles and hoops. No, jump through a bunch of hoops, jump over a bunch of hurdles to where... When the price gets really cheap, they kind of shut down and they make it difficult to buy it. And they just came out the other day, their stock took a big hit, Coinbase did. They came out the other day and said, well, if we were to file bankruptcy, we'd have to kind of use customer funds to, you know, anyway, your customer funds are going to be locked up. So I had this question in one of my videos for one of my videos, somebody made a comment about, hey, I bought some more Litecoin on Coinbase today. And I said, hey, make sure you pull that off and put it in your own wallet. And it was like, the question was, oh, you mean off of Coinbase? Yes, off of Coinbase. Don't leave your crypto on Coinbase because then they control it. If they file bankruptcy, you won't get your crypto. I've had it happen with exchanges. Cryptopia, um, Cryptsy. I've had coins on there that are now gone. I had 105 Dash coins, plus a lot of others. That was the main one on Cripsy when they went under at the end of 2016. I lost 105 Dash coins, gone. And other coins like Unobtainium and Ron Paul coin uh, and different, you know, all kinds of different little ones that, you know, I don't know if any of them amounted to anything. I'm trying to think of any other coins that I had on there that might've been big and gone big, but it doesn't matter, it's gone. The exchange shut down and I was done. And yeah, you can try and get it back, you know, through legal proceedings. You might get a little bit back, but the hassle you go through, it's just like, whatever. You learn. And uh, you don't want to learn the hard way. Cryptopia, I had, I think it was a New Zealand one. I had like two Litecoins sitting on there. And gone, lost that. It's just, I mean, these exchanges will take your money if they go under. And, you know, all it takes is a bad actor. There's a movie on Netflix right now about uh, the guy out of Canada for the one one exchange that went down. I can't remember the name of the name of the, the movie on Netflix, but it talks about this guy. Just disappeared one day, and, well, I guess all the funds are gone. Nobody else can access them. When you put your funds on an exchange, when you have your crypto on an exchange, it's just like putting your money into a traditional bank. They don't have it. Go try to take it all out in cash. They don't have it. They just don't. It's not there. It's called fractional reserve banking. They don't have the assets to back it up. You put a dollar in, they'll loan $9 out. Where does that come from? Well, they don't print it up. They'll issue you a check or they will put it in your account with digits, but you want physical cash? They don't have. They just don't have it. It's not there. 
The same with the crypto. Do not leave it. And if a bank goes under, it's legal for them to take your funds and bail it in. It's called a bail in. They'll take your funds. I'm going to go potty. They'll take your funds and use it to bail themselves in. In other words, they're going to make themselves solvent because you are a shareholder of the bank when you put your money in there. It's not your money. It's their casino. I mean, quit playing in it. They're vampires. They don't care. They just want your energy. So what you want to do is get your funds off Coinbase, off any exchange. It doesn't matter what it is. You take possession of it. And how do you do that? You download a wallet. You download a wallet, and there's I've got links on my website to some wallets. You download a Monarch wallet. Download a Coinomi wallet. Download an Exodus wallet. I mean, there are several wallets that you download. When you download them, you write down a series of words it's called a seed phrase. Not eating rocks, are you? We're all going to be eating rocks because it's the only thing we can afford. There she is. Hey. I know you're probably grinding your teeth, but but you want to write down those words in order because if you lose, and, and that's what your private key is, it, it equates to a private key. And the private key is what needs to have, you need to be able to have access to that to use those funds, send those funds. Only you can send those funds with that private key. Nobody else has access to that wallet, just you. Lose the private key, you lose the funds. They're just lost on the blockchain somewhere. So what happens is, I'll talk more about this in another video, but what happens, and this is what happens when Lisa, like when Lisa and I go on the road and we do our uh, happy hour road show and we go live, and actually in Peoria, June, whatever that Friday is, June 17th, I think it is, I don't have the location set yet, but June 17th in Peoria, Illinois, plan on coming to a happy hour meetup live. Going to be at a bar, going to be live, we're going to have a live happy hour like when Lisa and I, a lot of people are coming in. we got people coming in from Florida, from Philadelphia, from Michigan, from North Carolina, from, I mean, all over the country coming into this meetup. I should have a location, right? It will be in Peoria, Illinois. So uh, definitely that Friday, we're going to be having some, a lot of drinks going live and closing everything down that day that night so anyway yeah check that out i'll have more details on my website clintwestwood.net but you want to get your and this is what we talk about we teach people how to download wallets how to get it in their own possession i will send you litecoin so that you understand you know hey this is mine it's in my wallet i can do what i want with it i'm not asking i'm not asking for permission very important so learn how to do that like i said i'll make a video to start patreon and no uh maybe now what i'll do is um and if you come to the live meetup that's what we do i mean that's what we teach you you know and so that's why it's so important to get the hands on knowing how to do it and um lisa and i want to have a class online to do the same thing where you can sign up and um we'll teach you how to do all this stuff and download it but essentially all you need to do is download one of those wallets Say you download a Monarch wallet. You'll write down the seed phrase. Don't take a picture of it. Just write down those words in order on a piece of paper. You have multiple copies, whatever. Put them in a safe place. You can then transfer your Litecoin out of Coinbase or any other exchange into the Litecoin wallet on that phone. Then you have possession of it. It's like having cash in your pocket as opposed to having it in the bank when it may not even be there when you need it. ATMs down. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Down for maintenance. Can't come in. Can't get your cash. That's what happens with these exchanges. So when you most need it, you can't get to it. So you want to have it in your possession. So you want to send that Litecoin out to your own wallet. And if you lose your phone, doesn't matter. As long as you have those words written down in that order, you can restore that on any other phone. And you can download any other wallet for that matter because it follows the standards. BIP39, I think it is you know that um it's just you just need those seed phrase words that's it in that order it's all you need and your funds are secure so learn how to do that go watch videos on that i'll make a video on that very important <sighs> all right i'm distracted but yeah check out happy hour today at four o'clock it'll be on on this channel on light Quinn lisa's channel it may be on there i don't know she got like taken off youtube for a little bit but definitely watch it here live um it'll be a good time make a comment in the chat and let's hang out 
I know there's other th things going on that we really need to pay attention to, but the thing is, if you're in crypto, study it, get into the good cryptos, hold them, do not, do not think that you're going to get rich quick. I mean, just realize what cryptocurrency is. It's taking money out of an old dying system and putting it into a new system that you can control the money. You can send it anywhere you want, anytime that you want, any time of the day. No bank or government is involved in that. You hold it in your own possession. Or the blockchain does, and you're the only one who can access it with the private key and that wallet. So, she's like grinding her teeth on rocks. Puppy, chewing on things. Um, so yeah, definitely take possession of your wealth. Be your own bank. That's what it's all about. And you can look at the price and you can say, oh my gosh, the price went down to, you know, $60 Litecoin. You know, I bought it at $120. I've lost half my money. No, you didn't. You still have the asset. You have an asset that is not going to zero. It just is not going to zero. It's been running for 10 and a half years, uninterrupted. It works. I mean, it is sound money for the digital age. And you look at it as a buying opportunity, an opportunity to get more of those because there's only so many to go around. It's a finite supply. It's a big pie, and you're getting a bigger piece every time you buy more. When that pie is gone, people are going to be begging to get it, and they're not going to be able to get it. I mean, that's the scary thing. What if you can't buy it when it becomes like the gold standard of crypto? Litecoin's doing everything right. It really is. It is sound money for the digital age. I mean, it's it's sound money. I mean, this Mimble Wimble upgrade, the fungibility aspect of it, I mean, it is sound money. Can't emphasize it enough. I mean, it's a big deal. So, look into Litecoin, definitely. That's a good website, too. I think it's lookintolitecoin.com. Check that out for more information on it. Um... I don't know, just way undervalued, and I'd hate to see people kick themselves and say, oh, I should have bought it, you know, it was cheap, and now's the time. Doesn't matter, just get it in your possession, get more. What's your goal? I need a full Litecoin, or hey, maybe I need 10, that's my goal, or maybe 100. I mean, just get to that goal, and you think about what 100 Litecoin would be and what that would mean for you and your family going forward. It's huge. I mean, it's just, you're not going to be able to get it at some point. It's like, you know, buying 100 Bitcoin years ago. I'm thinking, oh, you know, well, we'll see what happens. And now if you just sat on it, 100 Bitcoin. And that was possible to do if you saw the light early enough. And some people did. Litecoin is affordable enough that you can do that. And uh, you'll look back and say, boy, that was the best thing I ever did. All right. That's just all I'm saying. Hope you have a wonderful Friday. Just, just trust yourself. If you think, if you think that uh, that's what you need to be doing, and you feel good about it, I mean, don't hesitate. Just trust yourself. Be at peace, and know that you've got it in your possession. That's the key. Hold it. Don't let somebody else hold it. They're just vampire casinos. That's all they are. Don't let them have your energy. All right. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on Happy Hour today, 4 p.m. Central Time. Come back to this channel. It'll be live. And check if, if Litecoin Lisa's live on her YouTube channel. See if you can find it. If, you know, and get in that chat if she's online. If not, come here. It'll be here. All right. Have a wonderful day. Trust yourself. Love you all. Hit that thumbs up. Thank you.